Once the Buddha said, Do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment. Today, we explore the profound power of not reacting and mastering our emotions. Imagine navigating life's ups and downs with a calm, centered mind, free from impulsive reactions and emotional turmoil. This isn't just a dream, it's a practice deeply rooted in Buddhism and Zen. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by your emotions, struggling to control the surge of feelings that seem to dictate your reactions? The Buddha wisely noted, The mind is everything. What you think, you become. This statement highlights a core Buddhist teaching, the transformative power of the mind in shaping our experiences and ourselves. By mastering our thoughts and subsequently our emotions, we not only alter our current experiences, but also set the course for our future selves. This idea is particularly enlightening, as it captures the essence of emotional control in Buddhism. Emotions are not just reactions to external events. They are previews of the potential consequences of our current state of mind. Hence, controlling them is not just beneficial in the moment, but also shapes our destiny. Impulsive reactions might bring temporary relief, but often lead to long-term distress, misunderstandings, and suffering. In contrast, approaching situations with a calm and composed mind fosters better outcomes, harmony, and deeper understanding. In this video, we will delve deep into the heart of emotional mastery through 13 unique tips rooted in Buddhist teachings. Each tip is designed not only to help you manage your emotional landscape, but also to transform your approach to life's challenges. By applying these principles, you can achieve a state of inner peace and clarity that positively impacts every aspect of your life. Imagine handling a stressful situation at work or a conflict at home with such serenity that it resolves with minimal stress. Or consider facing life's uncertainties not with fear and anxiety, but with confidence and a clear mind. These scenarios are not just ideals, but achievable realities with the right tools and understanding. Moreover, mastering your emotions through Buddhist practices enhances your overall well-being. Studies have shown that emotional regulation can reduce anxiety, depression and stress, leading to a healthier, more balanced life. The tranquility and mindfulness fostered by these practices also improve cognitive functions, enhancing decision-making and problem-solving capabilities. As we explore these tips, you'll learn to respond to life's ups and downs with wisdom and insight. This profound yet subtle change will transform how you view and interact with the world turning challenges that once seemed insurmountable into opportunities for growth and joy. By the end of this video, you will have equipped yourself with a toolkit for emotional resilience and clarity that will profoundly change your life. Embrace these teachings and watch as your life aligns more with peace, understanding and deep fulfillment. Let's begin with the first step towards this transformative journey Practicing Mindfulness By practicing mindfulness, you reinforce your capacity for self-awareness and self-regulation, key components for mastering your emotions and enhancing your mental health. Meditation allows you to detach from the habitual thought patterns that often lead to emotional turmoil. By observing your thoughts and emotions without attachment, you gain the ability to manage them more effectively rather than being controlled by them. This practice deepens your understanding of the nature of your mind and teaches you to recognize the transient nature of your emotions. As you meditate, you become more adept at noticing when your mind is caught up in the past or anxious about the future, and you learn to bring your focus back to the present moment. This skill is invaluable in reducing stress and anxiety as it helps you engage more fully with life as it happens, rather than getting lost in what could have been or what might be. In a practical sense, meditation can be as simple as sitting quietly for a few minutes each day, 
focusing on your breath. This practice can gradually extend to other forms of mindfulness meditation, where you observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment, simply letting them pass by like clouds in the sky. Additionally, meditation enhances your capacity for compassion by helping you connect with the common human experiences of suffering and the desire for happiness that we all share. This can lead to greater empathy and a more altruistic attitude, which are foundational for building meaningful and supportive relationships. Regular meditation not only cultivates a peaceful state of mind, but also fosters a sense of inner strength and stability, allowing you to face life's challenges with equanimity. It enhances your ability to concentrate and can improve cognitive functions such as memory and decision-making. By integrating meditation into your daily routine, you equip yourself with a powerful tool for personal growth and emotional resilience. This practice can help you navigate through life with a clearer mind and a more compassionate heart, significantly enhancing your overall well-being and the quality of your interactions with others. To sum up, these tips, practicing mindfulness, embracing impermanence, developing compassion, and meditating regularly are not just strategies for emotional control, they are pathways to a deeper, more meaningful life. They encourage you to live with greater awareness, understanding, and connection to others, transforming both your own life and the lives of those around you. Detachment in Buddhism is not about apathy or disengagement from the world. Instead, it's about cultivating a healthy non-attachment to outcomes. Possessions and even relationships teach us to enjoy life's experiences without becoming overly reliant on them for happiness. This provides a more stable and enduring sense of well-being that isn't shaken by every twist and turn of fate. Do you want to help us reach new heights? Like and share this video to boost its reach through the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe because only 8.5% of our viewers are subscribed. Your support makes a huge difference. Tip number one, detachment. The practice of detachment allows us to engage fully with life without being controlled by our desires or fears. It helps us appreciate what we have while recognizing that everything is transient and subject to change. This understanding can significantly reduce the fear of loss and the pain that often accompanies it. In practical terms, practicing detachment means learning to let go of the need for control in every aspect of life. It involves understanding that while you can influence many aspects of your life, you cannot control everything. This realization can lead to greater emotional freedom as you learn to accept things as they come without excessive worry or stress. For example, in relationships, detachment allows you to appreciate and love others, while accepting that all relationships evolve and sometimes change form. This can reduce anxiety over relationship dynamics and enhance your ability to enjoy meaningful connections without fear of change. In the workplace, detachment might involve doing your best on a project without becoming overly attached to the outcome. This approach can reduce stress and increase satisfaction with your work as you focus more on the effort than on the result. To begin practicing detachment, start by observing areas in your life where you may be overly attached or reactive. Notice how this attachment affects your emotions and behaviors then, consciously work on releasing your grip on these attachments by reminding yourself of the impermanence of all things and the benefits of embracing change. As you cultivate detachment, you may notice a greater sense of peace and resilience in your life. Challenges and changes will become easier to navigate and you'll find yourself responding to situations with a calm and balanced perspective. This not only enhances your well-being, but also positively affects those around you as you become a steadier, more reliable presence in their lives. Detachment is not about withdrawing from life, 
but about experiencing it fully and openly without being hindered by excessive attachment. By practicing detachment along with mindfulness, compassion and meditation, you can achieve a harmonious balance that leads to a more contented and fulfilling life. Detachment doesn't mean becoming indifferent or uncaring. Instead, it's about not clinging to people, possessions or outcomes. It encourages full engagement with life, enjoying experiences as they come, but without becoming overly attached to them, recognizing that change and loss are natural parts of life. In Buddhist philosophy, detachment helps us understand that our suffering often stems from our attachments to material goods, relationships, or our self-image, which can lead to distress when changes occur. Practically, detachment allows us to appreciate aspects of our lives without letting them define our happiness or self-worth. By integrating detachment, you become less reactive to changes, more adaptable, and experience less anxiety and more joy. You navigate life with a light heart and a clearer mind, ready to face whatever comes with equanimity and grace. Tip number two, mindfulness meditation. Mindfulness meditation is a cornerstone of Buddhist practice. It involves maintaining a moment-by-moment -moment awareness of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and the surrounding environment. The goal of mindfulness is to observe these phenomena without judgment, simply acknowledging them as they are. Historical Context and Significance Historically, mindfulness has... It is one of the seven factors of enlightenment described in the Pali Canon, the ancient texts of Theravada Buddhism. Mindfulness helps us detach from our habitual emotional responses and gain insight into the true nature of our experiences. The Science Behind Mindfulness Recent scientific studies corroborate the benefits of mindfulness meditation, showing its profound impact on emotional regulation and mental health. Researchers have found that regular mindfulness practice can decrease the density of grey matter in the amygdala, a brain region involved in stress and emotion regulation, leading to reduced stress responses. It also enhances connectivity in the prefrontal cortex, which governs our ability to rationalize and control our emotions. Step-by-step -step guide to practicing mindfulness meditation. 1. Finding a quiet space. Begin by finding a quiet and comfortable place where you won't be disturbed. This could be a small corner of your room, a park, or even a quiet cafe. 2. Setting a time limit. If you are a beginner, start with 5 to 10 minutes. As you grow more accustomed to the practice, you can gradually increase the duration. 3. Getting comfortable. Sit in a comfortable position, either on a chair or on the floor, with your back straight but not stiff. You can use cushions or a mat for support. 4. Focusing your attention. Close your eyes and bring your attention to your breath. Notice the sensation of the air entering and leaving your nostrils or the rise and fall of your chest or abdomen. 5. Observing your thoughts and emotions. As you meditate, you will notice thoughts, emotions and bodily sensations coming and going. The practice is to observe these without attachment or reaction. If you find your mind wandering, Gently bring your focus back to your breath. 6. Ending the session. When your time ends, slowly bring your awareness back to your surroundings. Gently move your fingers and toes to bring movement back to your body. Open your eyes and take a moment to notice how you feel. Incorporating mindfulness into daily life. Mindfulness doesn't end with meditation. It can be integrated into everyday activities. Here are some tips. Mindful eating. Pay attention to the taste, texture and aroma of your food. Eat slowly and savor each bite. By practicing mindfulness, detachment, compassion and regular meditation, 
you equip yourself with powerful tools for personal growth and emotional resilience. This practice can help you navigate through life with a clearer mind and a more compassionate heart, significantly enhancing your overall well-being and the quality of your interactions with others. In summary, these practices are not just strategies for emotional control. They are pathways to a deeper, more meaningful life. They encourage you to live with greater awareness, understanding and connection to others, transforming both your own life and the lives of those around you. Each bite, mindful walking, focuses on the sensation of your feet touching the ground, the sounds around you and your breathing. Mindful listening, when conversing with others, focuses completely on listening to them, observing any judgments or reactions that arise within you as they speak. Challenges and tips for overcoming them. Practicing mindfulness can be challenging, especially in the beginning. Common challenges include getting distracted, feeling restless, or thinking that nothing is happening. Dealing with distractions. It's normal for the mind to wander, acknowledge the distraction, and gently return your focus to the breath. Managing restlessness. If you feel restless, acknowledge this feeling. You might adjust your position slightly or take a few deep breaths to settle down. Patience is key. Remember that mindfulness is a skill that requires time to develop. Be patient with yourself and persistent in your practice. Mindfulness meditation is a powerful tool for gaining mastery over your emotions. By practicing regularly and incorporating mindfulness into your daily life, you can develop a more balanced emotional life and a deeper understanding of your mind. As you continue on this path, you may find greater peace, resilience and clarity, qualities that can profoundly transform your experience of life. Tip number three. Deep breathing exercises, calming the mind and body. Deep breathing exercises are essential in the Buddhist approach to managing emotions. These practices help in calming the mind and reducing the physical symptoms of stress and anxiety, facilitating a more centered and peaceful state of being. The role of breathing in Buddhism. In many Buddhist traditions, breath is seen as the link between the mind and body. Proper breathing is considered vital for achieving men. The Anapanasati Sutta, a core scripture in Buddhism, outlines the method of mindfulness through breathing, highlighting its importance for spiritual development. Scientific Benefits of Deep Breathing Scientifically, Deep breathing exercises have been shown to activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps reduce heart rate and lower blood pressure, creating a feeling of calm. Additionally, these exercises increase the supply of oxygen to your brain and stimulate the vagus nerve, which is central to relaxing the nervous system. Step-by-step -step guide to deep breathing techniques. 1. The 4 7, 8. Breathing Technique Find a comfortable position. Sit or lie down in a comfortable position. Empty your lungs. Begin by gently exhaling through your mouth. Inhale. Close your mouth and inhale quietly through your nose to a mental count of four. Hold your breath. Hold your breath for a count of seven. Exhale completely. Exhale through your mouth, making a whoosh sound for a count of eight. Repeat. This is one cycle. Repeat this cycle for four full breaths. Two. Diaphragmatic breathing. Position. Lie on your back with your knees slightly bent and your head on a pillow. Hand placement. Place one hand on your upper chest and the other just below your rib cage. This will allow you to feel your diaphragm move as you breathe. Inhale, slowly. Breathe in slowly through your nose so that your stomach moves out against your hand. The hand on your chest should remain as still as possible. Exhale through pursed lips.
Tighten your stomach muscles as you exhale through pursed lips. The hand on your abdomen should move in as you exhale, but your other hand should move very little. Time length. Practice this technique for five to 10 minutes. Integrating deep breathing into daily life. To make deep breathing a part of your daily routine, consider the following tips. Morning routine. Incorporate deep breathing into your morning routine to start your day with a sense of calm. Stressful situations. Use deep breathing techniques when you feel stress building up. This can help you manage stress in real time. Before sleep. Practice deep breathing before going to sleep to improve your sleep quality. Challenges and solutions. While beneficial, some might find it difficult to maintain deep breathing practices regularly. Consistency. Set specific times in the day for deep breathing to build a routine. Distractions. Find a quiet space where you are less likely to be interrupted. Physical discomfort. If you experience any physical discomfort, adjust your posture or the technique to find what feels best for you. Deep breathing is more than just a technique to calm the mind. It's a gateway to deeper self-awareness and emotional control. Regular practice can dramatically improve your mental and physical health, offering a simple yet effective tool to manage daily stress and enhance your emotional resilience. Tip number four, pause and reflect technique, cultivating thoughtful responses. Introduction to the pause and reflect technique. The pause and reflect technique is a simple yet powerful method to manage impulsive reactions and emotional overflows. It involves taking a deliberate pause before reacting to any situation, allowing for a moment of reflection to choose a more thoughtful and composed response. Buddhist Foundations of the Technique In Buddhist teachings, mindfulness is not only about being aware of the present moment, but also about being aware of our actions and reactions. The Buddha emphasized the importance of thoughtful speech and actions as part of the Eightfold Path, which guides practitioners toward ethical and mindful living. Benefits of the Pause and Reflect Technique the benefits of this technique are multifold. Reduces impulsivity. By pausing, you give yourself time to calm down and prevent knee-jerk reactions. Enhances self-awareness. Reflecting helps you understand your emotional triggers and patterns better. Promotes rational thinking. It allows your rational brain to catch up with your emotional impulses, facilitating more balanced decisions step-by-step -step guide to implementing the technique. 1. Notice the impulse to react. Begin by becoming more aware of your immediate impulses in various situations. This could be feeling anger in traffic, annoyance in queues, or frustration in disagreements. 2. Implement a physical cue. Use a physical action as a cue to pause. This 4. Choose to respond. After a brief reflection, choose how to respond in a way that is thoughtful and considerate. This might mean responding calmly, choosing not to respond immediately, or deciding on a more constructive approach. Incorporating the technique into everyday life. To make the pause and reflect technique a habit. During conversations. Before responding in conversations, especially heated ones, Take a moment to pause and reflect. When faced with decisions, use the technique to make considered decisions rather than impulsive ones. In moments of stress, when you feel overwhelmed, pause and reflect to regain your composure. Challenges and tips for overcoming them. While beneficial, integrating the pause and reflect technique into daily habits can be challenging forgetting to pause. To help remember, you can set reminders on your phone or post notes in visible places as cues. 
feeling silly or unnatural. Initially, this technique might feel awkward or forced. With practice, it will become more natural. Impatience. If you find yourself resisting the pause because you're in a hurry, remind yourself of the long-term benefits of thoughtful responses. The pause and reflect technique is a transformative tool that fosters emotional intelligence and mindful living. By integrating this practice into your life, you can significantly improve your interactions and decision-making processes, leading to a more harmonious and mindful existence. By integrating these practices, you improve your ability to handle stress, build stronger relationships by being fully present in conversations, and enhance your overall enjoyment of life. Each day becomes a series of moments to be appreciated rather than endured, shifting your perspective to a more liberated, focused way of living. You breathe in for four seconds, hold the breath for seven seconds, and then exhale slowly for eight seconds. This breathing pattern helps regulate the flow of oxygen and carbon dioxide in your body, promoting calm and managing anxiety and emotional upheaval. The connection between breathing patterns and emotions is crucial for understanding the effectiveness of breath control. Rapid, shallow breathing is typical in states of stress or fear, activating the fight-or-flight response. Conversely, slow, deep breathing triggers the body's relaxation response, reducing stress hormones, slowing the heart rate and stabilizing mood. Incorporating these breathing techniques into daily life offers immediate practical benefits. For example, engaging in deep breathing during a heated argument can prevent escalation, allowing for clearer, calmer responses. Similarly, using the 4-7 date technique before stressful events like job interviews or public speeches can lessen anxiety and improve performance. Regular practice of controlled breathing, such as starting or ending each day with a few minutes of it, enhances emotional resilience and makes it easier to manage stress when it arises. Learning to control your breath is more than a way to handle immediate stress. It's a gateway to better emotional health and a more balanced life. By regularly practicing these techniques, you not only improve your ability to manage emotions in challenging situations, but also enhance your everyday well-being. Developing self-awareness is a vital component of emotional control, deeply embedded in both Buddhist teachings and modern psychological practices. It involves understanding your thoughts, emotions and behaviors, and recognizing how they influence your interactions with the world. This heightened awareness can lead to more deliberate choices and responses, significantly improving your emotional well-being. Self-awareness and emotional control. Self-awareness is crucial as it is the first step toward effectively managing your reactions and behaviors. By being aware of what triggers certain emotions, you can control your responses instead of being impulsively driven by those emotions. For instance, recognizing that crowded environments make you anxious can help you prepare for, avoid, or develop coping strategies for such situations. Ways to become more self-aware. 1. Keep a journal. Regularly writing down your thoughts and feelings can help you identify patterns and triggers in your behavior and emotions, providing insights into how you react to different situations and how you can better manage those reactions. 2. Mindfulness Meditation This practice helps you observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment, enhancing your understanding of how they influence your behavior and decision-making. It enhances your ability to notice your mental and emotional states in real time, a key aspect of self-awareness. 3. Ask for feedback. Sometimes, understanding ourselves can be aided by external perspectives. Ask trusted friends, family or colleagues for honest feedback about your behavior and emotional responses. 
This can provide valuable insights and help you see aspects of yourself that you might not be aware of. 4. Set aside reflection. Time. Dedicate time regularly to reflect on your day, decisions and interactions. Consider what went well, what didn't and why. Reflecting on your actions and choices can deepen your understanding of your personal habits and values. Practical Applications of Self-Awareness Developing self-awareness has numerous practical applications that can enhance your quality of life. For instance, if you are aware that stress makes you short-tempered, you can take proactive steps to manage your stress before it affects your relationships. This might involve modifying your schedule to include breaks or time for relaxation, thus preventing stress buildup. In professional settings, self-awareness can lead to better leadership and decision-making. Understanding your strengths and weaknesses allows you to delegate tasks more effectively and seek help when needed, enhancing teamwork and productivity. Moreover, self-awareness can transform your personal development. By knowing yourself better, you can set more aligned and achievable goals, whether it's improving communication skills, Letting go of attachments is therefore not about detaching from the world, but about fostering a healthier, more flexible approach to our relationships with the things and people around us. How attachments cause emotional turbulence. Attachments make us vulnerable to disappointment, anger and sadness because they tie our happiness to the behavior of others, to possessions, or to the attainment of certain outcomes. When these attachments are threatened, our emotional response can be intense and disproportionate. For instance, being overly attached to our job identity means losing that job can feel like losing part of ourselves, leading to profound distress. Similarly, intense attachment to another person can make us overly dependent on their affection and approval, causing great pain if those are withheld or withdrawn. Steps to let go of attachments. 1. Recognize your attachments. Acknowledge that you have attachments, whether they are material items like your car or house, relationships, or even dreams and aspirations. Reflect on what you believe you couldn't live without and why. 2. Understand the nature of impermanence. Everything is temporary. Understanding this can make it easier to let go. Remind yourself that changes to your current state, whether they involve possessions, people or status, are natural and inevitable. 3. Cultivate inner fulfillment. Develop a sense of fulfillment that does not depend on external factors. Engage in activities that enrich your soul, such as meditation, reading or volunteering. These activities help build a resilient self that remains stable and happy regardless of external circumstances. 4. Practice Mindfulness Mindfulness can help you become aware of your attachments and the impact they have on your emotions. By observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment, you can begin to detach from the need to cling to specific outcomes or possessions. By integrating these practices, you improve your ability to handle stress, build stronger relationships by being fully present in conversations, and enhance your overall enjoyment of life. Each day becomes a series of moments to be appreciated rather than endured, shifting your perspective to a more liberated, focused way of living. Deep Breathing Technique 478 Method you breathe in for four seconds, hold the breath for seven seconds, and then exhale slowly for eight seconds. This breathing pattern helps regulate the flow of oxygen and carbon dioxide in your body, promoting calm and managing anxiety and emotional upheaval. The connection between breathing patterns and emotions is crucial for understanding the effectiveness of breath control. Rapid, shallow breathing is typical in states of stress or fear activating the fight-or-flight response. Conversely, 
Slow, deep breathing triggers the body's relaxation response, reducing stress hormones, slowing the heart rate, and stabilizing mood. Incorporating these breathing techniques into daily life offers immediate practical benefits. For example, engaging in deep breathing during a heated argument can prevent escalation, allowing for clearer, calmer responses. Similarly, using the 4 to 7 to 8 technique before stressful events like job interviews or public speeches can lessen anxiety and improve performance. Regular practice of controlled breathing, such as starting or ending each day with a few minutes of it, enhances emotional resilience and makes it easier to manage stress when it arises. Learning to control your breath is more than a way to handle immediate stress. It's a gateway to better emotional health and a more balanced life. Practicing gratitude is a transformative habit that goes beyond a simple thank you to a deeper recognition and appreciation of the positives in our lives. This powerful practice can radically improve your emotional well-being, turning everyday interactions into moments of profound connection and joy. The power of gratitude in emotional well-being. Embracing gratitude can significantly enhance your mental health by shifting your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant, from problems to opportunities. This change in perspective reduces feelings of envy and dissatisfaction, fostering a sense of contentment and peace. Moreover, gratitude can help alleviate depression and anxiety by promoting a positive mindset and reducing the focus on negative thoughts. Gratitude also plays a critical role in strengthening relationships. When you express genuine appreciation for others, it not only makes them feel valued and respected, but also reinforces your positive feelings towards them. This creates a cycle of goodwill and deepens emotional connections, making interactions more fulfilling and conflicts easier to resolve. Daily Gratitude Practices 1. Gratitude Journal Dedicate a few minutes each day to write down three things you are grateful for. These could range from simple pleasures like a good cup of coffee or a calm morning to more significant events such as receiving support from a friend during a tough time. This practice helps you become more aware of the good in your life training your brain to notice and appreciate these moments regularly. 2. Express gratitude openly. Make it a habit to acknowledge and appreciate the efforts and qualities of the people around you, whether it's complimenting a colleague on a well-done presentation, thanking a partner for their understanding, or simply telling a friend how much you value their presence in your life. These expressions of gratitude can dramatically improve your relationships and increase your overall happiness. 3. Mindful Reflection Take time each day to reflect on the things that went well. Even on challenging days, try to find at least one thing that you can be thankful for, such as your health, the roof over your head, or the opportunity to learn from your experiences. Integrating gratitude into your daily routine can have far-reaching effects. It allows you to live more fully in the present, appreciate what you have, and face changes with grace and flexibility. This practice not only brings inner peace, but also enhances your interactions with others, making your life richer and more fulfilling. Letting go of attachments. In Buddhist philosophy, Attachment is often seen as a root cause of suffering. This doesn't only refer to material possessions, but also to people, ideas and outcomes. Holding on too tightly to anything can lead to emotional turbulence because it sets us up for disappointment when changes occur, as they inevitably do. Letting go of attachments is therefore not about detaching from the world, but about fostering a healthier, more flexible approach to our relationships with the things and people around us. How attachments cause emotional turbulence. 
Attachments make us vulnerable to disappointment, anger and sadness because they tie our happiness to the behavior of others, possessions or the attainment of certain outcomes. When these attachments are threatened, our emotional response can be intense and disproportionate. For instance, being overly attached to our job identity means losing that job can feel like losing part of ourselves, leading to profound distress. Similarly, intense attachment to another person can make us overly dependent on their affection and approval, causing great pain if those are withheld or withdrawn. Steps to let go of attachments. 1. Recognize your attachments. Acknowledge that you have attachments, whether they are material items like your car or house, relationships, or even dreams and aspirations. Reflect on what you believe you couldn't live without and why. 2. Understand the nature of impermanence. Everything is temporary. Understanding this can make it easier to let go. Remind yourself that changes to your current state, whether they involve possessions, people or status, are natural and inevitable. 3. Cultivate inner fulfillment. Develop a sense of fulfillment that does not depend on external factors. Engage in activities that enrich your soul, such as meditation, reading or volunteering. These activities help build a resilient self that remains stable and happy regardless of external circumstances. 4. Practice mindfulness. Being present in the moment can help you appreciate what you have now, reducing the constant yearning for more or fear of loss. Mindfulness also increases your awareness of how attachment affects your emotions and behaviors, providing insight into why and how to let go. By embracing these practices, you can live more intentionally and react more thoughtfully empowering you to navigate life's challenges with greater confidence and clarity. 5. Gradually reduce dependency. Start small by reducing your dependency on things to which you are overly attached. For example, if you feel a strong attachment to your smartphone, designate times when you will turn it off and disconnect. If you are overly reliant on validation from others, Practice making decisions without seeking approval. Real Life Applications Letting go of attachments has practical applications that can significantly improve your quality of life. In personal relationships, reducing emotional dependency can lead to healthier, more balanced interactions. Instead of expecting another person to make you happy, you find happiness within yourself which makes you a better partner. In the workplace, letting go of the fear of failure allows you to take risks and innovate, which can lead to better job performance and satisfaction. Without the crippling fear of losing your job, you can focus more on doing your work well and less on the politics and dynamics that often cause stress. Overall, learning to let go of attachments can lead to a more peaceful, contented life. It allows you to live more fully in the present, appreciate what you have, and face changes with grace and flexibility. This doesn't just bring inner peace. It also enhances your interactions with others, making your life richer and more fulfilling. Integrating gratitude into your daily routine can have far-reaching effects. Regular mindfulness helps us observe our desires and expectations without getting caught up in them. By practicing mindfulness, you can learn to live more in the present moment and appreciate what you have, rather than always seeking something else or expecting more. This shift in perspective can significantly reduce the power that desires and expectations have over your emotional state. Tips for reducing desires and expectations 1. Cultivate contentment Learning to feel content with what you have is an effective way to counter the constant craving for more. This can involve gratitude practices where you actively acknowledge and appreciate the good things in your life, helping to shift your focus from what is missing to what is abundant. 2. 
set realistic goals. While it's important to have goals and aspirations, ensuring these are realistic and attainable is crucial. Unrealistic expectations can lead to frustration and disappointment. Setting achievable goals, on the other hand, provides a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction that can help diminish the need for constant external validation or success. 3. Reflect on the source of desires. Sometimes our desires are influenced more by societal pressures or external expectations than by our true needs or values. Taking time to reflect on why you want what you want can help you determine whether your desires are genuinely your own or imposed by others. This realization can make it easier to let go of unnecessary desires. 4. Limit exposure to temptations. In a world full of advertisements and social pressures, it's easy to continually develop new desires. Limiting your exposure to such influences, whether through less social media use, avoiding commercials, or being mindful of the company you keep, can help reduce the formation of new desires and the dissatisfaction they bring. Applying these techniques in everyday life can lead to profound changes. For example, if you find yourself feeling unhappy with your current living situation, practicing gratitude for the home you have, and setting realistic expectations for future improvements can help you feel more at peace. Similarly, if you often feel let down by friends or family, adjusting your expectations to be more in line with reality can improve your relationships and reduce feelings of resentment. Tip number nine. Embrace simplicity. Embracing simplicity is about more than decluttering your environment. It's about streamlining your life at all levels, including the mental and emotional. This concept, deeply rooted in spiritual traditions such as Buddhism, advocates for the profound peace and clarity that comes from living a simpler life. Benefits of a simple life. Living simply offers numerous benefits. It reduces stress by lessening the number of decisions you need to make and the amount of stimuli you have to process each day. This decluttering of your physical and mental space can lead to increased focus and efficiency, allowing you to better appreciate and engage with the present moment. Moreover, a simpler life often leads to improved financial health as it encourages you to spend less and save more focusing on needs rather than wants. Ways to simplify your life. 1. Declutter your space. Start by decluttering your physical environment. This doesn't mean you have to live minimally, but removing unnecessary items can significantly reduce stress and distraction. Each item you own should serve a purpose or bring you joy. 2. Prioritize your commitments. Look at your calendar and to-do lists. Are there commitments you can scale back on or eliminate? Prioritizing your time around activities and people that truly add value to your life can free up more time for personal growth and relaxation. 3. Simplify your finances. Financial stress can complicate life considerably. Simplifying your finances might involve setting up automated payments reducing unnecessary expenses, or even consolidating accounts to make management easier. 4. Limit digital consumption. In a world where digital engagement can dominate our time, setting boundaries around your use of technology can drastically simplify your life. Designate specific times to check emails or social media, and be mindful of the quality of digital content you consume. 5. Practice saying no. Learning to say no is crucial in maintaining a simple life. Saying no to unnecessary commitments and distractions allows you to focus more on what truly matters, contributing to a more peaceful and focused existence. This applies to both personal and professional requests. By not overcommitting, you can maintain your focus on your priorities and reduce stress.
Embracing simplicity has practical applications that can dramatically improve your quality of life. For example, by decluttering your home, you might find that you spend less time and energy on maintenance and more on activities that bring you joy. Embrace simplicity and understanding the nature of suffering. Simplifying your life. Simplifying your life isn't just about decluttering your physical space, it extends to your mental and emotional well-being as well. Here's how embracing simplicity can lead to a more fulfilling life. 1. Declutter. Your space. Removing unnecessary items from your home reduces stress and distraction. This doesn't mean living minimally but keeping items that serve a purpose or bring you joy. Simplifying your schedule could allow you to engage more fully in your child's life or deepen relationships as you're less distracted and more present during interactions. 2. Prioritize your commitments. Assess your calendar and to-do lists to see if there are commitments you can reduce or eliminate. Focus your time on activities and people that add true value to your life, freeing up more time for personal growth and relaxation. 3. Simplify your finances. Financial stress can complicate life considerably. Simplifying your finances might involve setting up automated payments, reducing unnecessary expenses, or consolidating accounts to make management easier. 4. Limit digital consumption. Set boundaries around your use of technology. Designate specific times to check emails or social media and be mindful of the quality of digital content you consume. This can help reduce the mental clutter caused by constant digital engagement. 5. Practice saying no. Learning to say no is crucial for maintaining a simple life. By not overcommitting, you can focus on your priorities and reduce stress. Understanding the nature of suffering. Understanding the nature of suffering is a core principle in Buddhism and offers valuable insights into emotional control and personal growth. According to Buddhist teachings, suffering arises from attachments, misunderstandings, and resisting the natural flow of life. By exploring and understanding these roots of suffering, we can learn to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and less distress. The Buddhist perspective on suffering Buddhism teaches that the primary sources of suffering are desire, aversion and ignorance. Desire includes craving for what we do not have, while aversion involves pushing away what we dislike. Ignorance refers to a misunderstanding of the nature of things, particularly the impermanence of all phenomena. This framework helps explain why we often feel dissatisfied or troubled it is not the external circumstances that cause suffering, but our reactions to them. How understanding suffering helps in emotional control. Understanding suffering as a product of our own perceptions and reactions can profoundly change how we handle emotions. Recognizing that dissatisfaction stems from unrealistic desires or from resisting what is, allows us to let go of these patterns. This awareness helps us approach situations with a more open and flexible mindset, reducing the intensity of negative emotions and promoting a sense of peace. Real Life Applications In practical terms, this understanding can be applied in various ways to everyday life. For example, if you find yourself upset because a friend cancelled plans, Recognizing this reaction as a form of attachment to your expectations allows you to release the frustration more quickly. Similarly, if you are struggling with loss or change, understanding the impermanence of all things can provide comfort and the ability to accept the new reality more gracefully. In professional settings, this knowledge can help manage stress and conflict. By acknowledging that much of our work-related stress comes from how we perceive challenges and pressures, not just the challenges themselves, we can find more constructive ways to respond. 
Instead of reacting with anxiety or irritation, we might see difficulties as opportunities for growth and learning, aligning our actions with our deeper values rather than immediate impulses. Practicing loving kindness. Cultivating loving kindness can transform your interactions with others, making them more genuine and heartwarming. This practice involves sending well wishes to oneself and gradually expanding these intentions to include friends, family, strangers, and even those with whom you may have conflicts. How to practice loving kindness meditation. Practicing loving kindness. Meditation is straightforward and can be integrated into daily routines. Start by finding a quiet place to sit comfortably. Begin by focusing on yourself, silently repeating phrases like May I be happy, may I be healthy, may I be safe, may I live with ease. Feel the meaning of the words and the desire for your well-being. After a few minutes, visualize someone you love and repeat the phrases towards them. Gradually expand your focus to include an acquaintance, then someone neutral, followed by someone you have difficulties with, and finally extend these wishes to all beings everywhere. Benefits of Loving Kindness Meditation This practice can have tangible benefits. For instance, if you find yourself frequently irritated by a co-worker's actions, Practicing loving-kindness can help you approach your interactions with more empathy and less frustration. This shift in perspective can improve your relationship with that co-worker and enhance your overall work environment by reducing personal stress and increasing collaboration and understanding among team members. On a personal level, loving-kindness meditation can be effective in dealing with feelings of isolation or loneliness. By actively sending good wishes to people around you and acknowledging your connectedness with them, you can combat feelings of separation and foster a sense of belonging and community. This practice can be especially comforting during times of social distancing or personal struggles as it reminds you that you are part of a larger web of life, deeply connected with others through shared desires for happiness and peace. Embracing change. Embracing change involves acknowledging its inevitability and viewing it as an opportunity for growth. By adapting gracefully, you not only navigate changes more effectively, but also turn potential challenges into avenues of personal development and success. Here are some steps to adapt to change gracefully. 1. Cultivate a flexible mindset. Start by developing a flexible attitude. Accept that change is a part of life and that adapting to it is within your capabilities. Flexibility in thinking allows you to consider various outcomes and adapt your strategies as situations evolve. 2. Stay informed. Understanding the factors that contribute to change can reduce uncertainty and help you prepare better. Whether it's changes in your job, a move to a new city, or shifts in a relationship, staying informed about what's happening and why it's happening can provide a sense of control. 3. Build a support system. Change can be daunting when faced alone. Having a support system, friends, family, colleagues, who understand what you're going through, can make the transition smoother. These relationships provide emotional support and practical advice during times of change. 4. Focus on what you can control. When faced with change, concentrate on the aspects of the situation that you can influence. This might involve setting new goals, learning new skills, or adjusting your mindset to better cope with the new reality. By following these tips, you can embrace change more effectively and turn potential challenges into opportunities for personal growth and success. Embracing change and avoiding judgments. Navigating change gracefully. 1. Cultivate a flexible mindset. 
Developing a flexible attitude allows you to accept change as a natural part of life and adapt to it effectively. Flexibility in thinking helps you consider various outcomes and adjust your strategies as situations evolve. 2. Stay informed. Understanding the factors behind change can reduce uncertainty and help you prepare better. Whether it's changes in your job, a move to a new city, or shifts in a relationship, staying informed about what's happening and why provides a sense of control. 3. Build a support system. Change can be daunting when faced alone. Having friends, family or colleagues who understand what you're going through can make transitions smoother. These relationships provide emotional support and practical advice during times of change. Four, focus on what you can control. Concentrate on aspects of the situation that you can influence. This might involve setting new goals, learning new skills, or simply adjusting your daily routine. Focusing on actionable steps can help mitigate feelings of helplessness and foster a sense of agency. 5. Practice self-care. Change can be stressful, so it's important to take care of your physical and mental health. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, sufficient sleep and mindfulness practices like meditation can all help manage stress and enhance resilience. Reflect and reassess. As you navigate through change, take time to reflect on what's working and what isn't. This ongoing assessment aids in adapting more effectively and contributes to personal growth. Reflection helps you learn from the process of change, equipping you better for future transitions. Applying these strategies. Work environment. If your workplace is restructuring, focus on understanding the reasons behind the changes and acquiring new skills that align with the new direction. Building strong relationships with new team members and maintaining open communication can ease the transition. Personal life. If you're moving to a new city, embrace the change by exploring new communities, maintaining old connections and creating new routines. This can turn an intimidating adjustment into an exciting opportunity. Avoiding judgments. 1. Cultivate mindfulness. Being mindful of your thoughts and feelings allows you to recognize when you are beginning to judge. Mindfulness helps you observe these thoughts without attachment, understanding they are just thoughts, not facts, and letting them pass without acting on them. 2. Practice empathy. Try to put yourself in others' shoes. Understanding their circumstances, feelings and motivations can help you appreciate why they might behave in certain ways. This perspective can soften your judgments and increase your patience and empathy towards both others and yourself. 3. Challenge your assumptions. Often, judgments are based on assumptions that haven't been examined. Challenge these by asking yourself if you have all the facts and if there are other possible interpretations. Consider if your initial response is influenced by your current mood, past experiences, or biases. 4. Focus on positive aspects. Actively look for the positive in people and situations instead of focusing on negatives. This doesn't mean ignoring problems or accepting harmful behavior, but balancing your perspective to see the good alongside the less desirable. 5. Use reflective listening. When interacting with others, focus on truly listening to what they are saying without preparing your response or judgment while they speak. This can help you understand their point of view more clearly and reduce the likelihood of misinterpretation. 6. Pause before reacting. Give yourself a moment to pause when you feel like judging or reacting based on a judgment. 
This pause can give you time to consider a more thoughtful, compassionate response. Practical Applications Work If a colleague misses a deadline, instead of immediately thinking they are lazy or unprofessional, consider what might be happening in their life. They might be dealing with personal issues or need more support to complete their work. By avoiding snap judgments and seeking more information, you can respond more appropriately and helpfully, potentially offering support instead of criticism. Personal life. By avoiding judgments, you can lead a more peaceful life, enrich relationships, and gain a better understanding of yourself and others. It opens up space for more genuine interactions and less conflict, promoting a more accepting and supportive environment. Embracing Nonviolence 1. Understand the principle of Ahimsa Ahimsa, or nonviolence, teaches that violence leads to suffering, so every effort should be made to avoid causing harm. This principle includes not only physical harm, but also emotional and psychological harm inflicted through harsh words, manipulative actions, or negative thoughts. 2. Promote emotional regulation. Practicing nonviolence requires a high degree of self awareness and self control to ensure actions and responses do not cause harm. This inward focus promotes emotional regulation as individuals must constantly monitor their impulses, especially in stressful or provocative situations. 3. Align actions with ethical values. Committing to non-harmful behavior aligns your actions with positive ethical values, reducing feelings of guilt, anxiety, and internal conflict. This alignment brings a sense of peace and self-respect stabilizing mood swings and helping cultivate a more positive outlook on life. 4. Practical Nonviolence Daily Interactions Choose words that do not hurt others even when angry or frustrated. Engage in active listening and empathy, striving to understand others' viewpoints without rushing to judgment or retaliation. Professional Settings Promote a cooperative and supportive work environment by resolving conflicts through dialogue and consensus rather than competition and aggression. Personal relationships. Address conflicts calmly and constructively without blame or coercion, leading to deeper understanding and stronger bonds. Cultivating a positive mindset. The power of positive thinking. Positive thinking helps you see potential and good in situations rather than focusing solely on negatives. It involves creating a robust framework that influences how you interpret and respond to various situations, enhancing overall well-being and effectiveness in handling life's challenges. Embracing change and avoiding judgments. Navigating change gracefully. One. Cultivate a flexible mindset. Develop a flexible attitude to accept change as a natural part of life and adapt effectively. Flexibility in thinking helps you consider various outcomes and adjust your strategies as situations evolve. 2. Stay informed. Understanding the factors behind change can reduce uncertainty and help you prepare better. Whether it's changes in your job, a move to a new city, or shifts in a relationship, staying informed about what's happening and why provides a sense of control. 3. Build a support system. Change can be daunting when faced alone. Having friends, family or colleagues who understand what you're going through can make transitions smoother. These relationships provide emotional support and practical advice during times of change. 4. Focus on what you can control. Concentrate on aspects of the situation that you can influence. This might involve setting new goals, learning new skills, or simply adjusting your daily routine. 
Focusing on actionable steps can help mitigate feelings of helplessness and foster a sense of agency. 5. Practice self-care. Change can be stressful, so it's important to take care of your physical and mental health. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, sufficient sleep and mindfulness practices like meditation can all help manage stress and enhance resilience. 6. Reflect and reassess. As you navigate through change, take time to reflect on what's working and what isn't. This ongoing assessment aids in adapting more effectively and contributes to personal growth. Reflection helps you learn from the process of change, equipping you better for future transitions. Applying these strategies. Work environment. If your workplace is restructuring, focus on understanding the reasons behind the changes and acquiring new skills that align with the new direction building strong relationships with new team members and maintaining open communication can ease the transition. Personal life. If you're moving to a new city, embrace the change by exploring new communities, maintaining old connections and creating new routines. This can turn an intimidating adjustment into an exciting opportunity. Sutters, avoiding judgments. One, cultivate mindfulness. Being mindful of your thoughts and feelings allows you to recognize when you are beginning to judge. Mindfulness helps you observe these thoughts without attachment, understanding they are just thoughts, not facts, and letting them pass without acting on them. 2. Practice empathy. Try to put yourself in others' shoes. Understanding their circumstances, feelings and motivations can help you appreciate why they might behave in certain ways. This perspective can soften your judgments and increase your patience and empathy towards both others and yourself. 3. Challenge your assumptions. Often, judgments are based on assumptions that haven't been examined. Challenge these by asking yourself if you have all the facts and if there are other possible interpretations. Consider if your initial response is influenced by your current mood, past experiences, or biases. 4. Focus on positive aspects. Actively look for the positive in people and situations instead of focusing on negatives. This doesn't mean ignoring problems or accepting harmful behavior, but balancing your perspective to see the good alongside the less desirable. Use reflective listening. When interacting with others, focus on truly listening to what they are saying without preparing your response or judgment while they speak. This can help you understand their point of view more clearly and reduce the likelihood of misinterpretation. 6. Pause before reacting. Give yourself a moment to pause when you feel like judging or reacting based on a judgment. This pause can give you time to consider a more thoughtful, compassionate response. Practical Applications Work If a colleague misses a deadline, instead of immediately thinking they are lazy or unprofessional, Consider what might be happening in their life. They might be dealing with personal issues or need more support to complete their work. By avoiding snap judgments and seeking more information, you can respond more appropriately and helpfully, potentially offering support instead of criticism. Personal life. By avoiding judgments, you can lead a more peaceful life, enrich relationships and gain a better understanding of yourself and others. It opens up space for more genuine interactions and less conflict, promoting a more accepting and supportive environment. Two to embracing nonviolence. One, understand the principle of ahimsa. Ahimsa, or nonviolence, teaches that violence leads to suffering, so every effort should be made to avoid causing harm. 
This principle includes not only physical harm, but also emotional and psychological harm inflicted through harsh words, manipulative actions, or negative thoughts. 2. Promote emotional regulation. Practicing nonviolence requires a high degree of self-awareness and self-control to ensure actions and responses do not cause harm. This inward focus promotes emotional regulation as individuals must constantly monitor their impulses, especially in stressful or provocative situations. 3. Align actions with ethical values. Committing to non-harmful behavior aligns your actions with positive ethical values, reducing feelings of guilt, anxiety, and internal conflict. This alignment brings a sense of peace and self-respect, stabilizing mood swings and helping cultivate a more positive outlook on life. 4. Practical Nonviolence Daily Interactions Choose words that do not hurt others, even when angry or frustrated. Engage in active listening and empathy, striving to understand others' viewpoints without rushing to judgment or retaliation. Professional settings. Promote a cooperative and supportive work environment by resolving conflicts through dialogue and consensus rather than competition and aggression. Personal relationships. Address conflicts calmly and constructively without blame or coercion, leading to deeper understanding and stronger bonds. Cultivating a positive mindset. The power of positive thinking. Positive thinking helps you see potential and good in situations rather than focusing solely on negatives. It involves creating a robust framework that influences how you interpret and respond to various situations, enhancing overall well-being and effectiveness in handling life's challenges. Strategies to develop a positive mindset. Practice gratitude. Regularly expressing gratitude shifts your focus to what's present and valuable in your life, enhancing contentment and lifting your spirits. Reframe negative thoughts. Consciously change your perspective on challenges to reduce anxiety and increase feelings of control. Surround yourself with positive influences. Spend time with supportive people and engage with media that fosters a positive outlook. Set realistic goals. Achieving goals provides a sense of purpose and accomplishment, boosting resilience and optimism. Embrace failures as opportunities. Maintain a positive attitude in the face of setbacks, viewing them as chances for growth and learning. Trusting the process. 1. Embrace the journey with faith and patience. Trusting the process involves navigating life's uncertainties with peace and purpose rather than anxiety. Every experience, whether positive or challenging, contributes to personal growth and understanding. 2. Practical steps to trust the process. Reflect on past experiences. Recall instances where unexpected events led to positive outcomes, reinforcing trust in the process. Set intentions. Focus on personal growth and values, not just achieving goals, to remain open to various outcomes. Practice mindfulness. Stay present and accept uncertainties without overthinking past complications or future uncertainties. Seek wisdom from others. Learn from others' experiences to gain perspective and reassurance in your own journey. Embrace flexibility. Adapt to changes and setbacks with an open mindset, reducing stress and promoting resilience. By integrating these practices into your life, you enhance your ability to handle challenges, foster deeper connections, and lead a more fulfilling life. Trusting the process allows you to live with assurance, knowing that each step contributes to your journey of growth and wisdom.